this story was sent to me by one of my Twitter followers and it's coming out of Pittsburgh County, Oklahoma, where you have this little thing by the name of Alexis Wilson, who is 18 years old, who says she wanted to shoot up her school just for the fun of it. What have I told you about these palm colored demons? That they find death, destruction, chaos, and anything that is considered to be extremely negative, fun. Or they try to make light of death or make a joke out of it. They, they literally do stuff to put a smile on their face. They are like, they're like the Joker, basically, if you want to put it that way. And I've always told you that there might be some times where there might be the female that will want to commit such acts. Don't think it's just the men. Of course it's or the males. It is a uh is a very open I guess you can say destruction as far as the genders go. It's rare that you'll find the woman or a female doing this or wanting to do this, but they're out there. Trust and believe. That that palm colored female criminality knows no bounds. From the pe from the petty level all the way up to the extreme level. Now, I'm going to go ahead and read this article coming from Heavy.com with their five facts you need to know. The Pittsburgh County, Oklahoma Sheriff's Office charged Alexis Wilson, age 18, with making a terroristic threat after she allegedly told a co-worker she would shoot up her former school, according to police. Now, this is her former school. This little bitch don't even go there no more. So who the hell is she mad at? That's the question. But then again. She said she wanted to do it for fun, so she's not really mad. She just wants to do it just because. According to the sheriff's incident report obtained by Heavy, a co-worker at a pizza restaurant told p police Wilson shared videos of herself firing off a semi-automatic weapon and a shotgun and allegedly said she was going to shoot up the school. The sheriff's report reads that following the arrest, deputy seized a black AK-47 with six magazines and a black 12-gauge shotgun with stock sleeve for extra shells. It was noted in the report that a standard magazine is 30 rounds for an AK-47, which has a cy cyclic rate of fire of about 600 rounds per minute and a semi-automatic rate of 40 rounds per minute. This chick was about to go Rambo on her former school. Now we're getting into the five facts. The first one reads, police alleged that Wilson told a co-worker at a pizza shop that she wanted to shoot 400 people for fun. According to the incident report, Wilson is alleged to have shown a co-worker a juvenile at the Pizza Inn at, in Mc, McAllister videos of her firing guns and then reportedly saying she was going to shoot 400 people for fun, adding that there were so many people at her old school that she didn't like. A fill-in staff member at the pizza place contacted the police who took a statement from the unnamed juvenile who said Wilson showed the shooting videos and said she wanted to shoot at the school but that the witness didn't think that Alexis was all there and wasn't sure if she would actually do what she was claiming to or not. Listen, whenever somebody says that they are planning to go and shoot up a school and they want to go and kill 400 people for fun, after they have shown you videos of their, of their arsenal, and them firing off the guns for practice. Take that shit seriously. I don't know why her co-worker thought she probably was joking or that she wasn't serious. That's exactly why many of them get away with it because a lot of their friends or their family members don't take their threat seriously. I would. And I would try my best to get the fuck far away from that person. Wilson told police that while she had purchased the AK-47, she was sharing information about the weapon so the co-worker wouldn't fear guns and claimed to authorities that she did not threaten to shoot 400 people, rather that she had a friend who had threatened to shoot 400 people for fun before, and she was just using that friend as an example. Look at her. Lying. From the report, Wilson said she was just talking to a co-worker about guns. When Alexis was asked about making a threat towards McAllister High School, she stated that she didn't mean the statement to sound the way that it did and that she was just trying to teach a co-worker not to be afraid of firearms. Police said she admitted repeatedly to making the statements. Witnesses say she did, but claims her intentions were misunderstood. 
Wilson said the comments weren't meant to be taken that way. She told sheriff's deputies that she used to be suicidal and borderline homicidal to the po- to the people of McAllister High School because she was bullied. A deputy asked if she had thoughts about hurting anyone at the school. She stated not recently, but she has in the past. Wilson allegedly says she would shoot up the school. Sorry about that. Y'all had a call that came to my um, phone. Well, let me see. Where did I leave off? It says, a deputy asked if she had thoughts about hurting anyone at the school. She stated not recently, but she has in the past. Wilson allegedly says she would shoot up the school. She attended for her freshman year of high school, which was McAllister High School. Uh, let's see here. It says number three. I must have skipped past number two. I don't know how I did that. Unless they didn't label number two. Okay. Number three. Wilson attended the high school she allegedly threatened, but just for her freshman year. And told investigators she was bullied. So hold on. This chick only went to this school for one damn year. One year. Which means she didn't go sophomore. She didn't go junior. She didn't go senior. So she's that upset with some people that probably have already graduated. The only people she would know that would still have been there. Were the people that was there with her when she was a freshman. Like, all the people ahead of her already graduated, so who the hell was she going to go after? It could have only been the people in her um in her freshman class. I'm telling you, the mindset of palm colored. It says, according to the police report, Wilson left McAllister High School after freshman year. She told investigators that she had completed the program at Camp Thunderbird, a youth academy, and then tried to go back to the high school, but was not allowed. She said she tried to take the night courses for a GED, however, wasn't able to take the classes due to them not having night courses and not being able to take day classes because of work. Sheriff's deputy says she seemed to be upset about not being able to enroll back into McAllister High School, but when asked if she was upset about the situation, she stated that she wanted to complete her school. However, it didn't upset her enough to do anything to the school. Alexis did state that in the past at school, she had be, had issues with being bullied in school. However, she stated that she was always good about just ignoring it and going on about her day. She had issues at the school when she was there. It says, after speaking to the school, deputies learned that there were some previously violent issues with Wilson since 2013 and ongoing where she'd been suspended for bringing a knife to school and another time where she had a swastika symbol on her personal belongings. So it sounds to me like this chick brought on a lot of the issues that she was dealing with on herself. Like I said, she brought a knife to school and she had a swastika on her back. That's probably why people were talking shit about her. Because it, it's almost like she's trying to put herself into the victim role. Like they were just picking on her just to mess with her or they just found something. Because you know how kids can be. But it sounds like to me she was doing this to herself. I mean, it's most likely not that far-fetched. After all, she tried to lie and say that it was a friend that told her or said that they wanted to shoot up a school and not her. But she can't specify who the friend is. It says, Wilson, age 18, this is the next fact I'm reading, allegedly purchased an AK-47 semi-automatic at an Oklahoma gun store. Her mother allowed sheriff's deputy to search their house and said Wilson had been saving up to buy the guns. According to the police report, Wilson showed police uh, photos and videos from her phone of her shooting a semi-automatic and a shotgun. When police said they'd been taking her phone as evidence, she said she had some things on her phone that had to do with crime and committed crimes and things of that nature. On her phone, investigators noted she appeared to be nervous. Wilson's mother showed deputies her daughter's room and stated that there was, in fact, an AK-47 rifle in her room. She She said Wilson had been saving for the rifle and had just recently purchased the rifle, but didn't think anything of it due to the fact that Alexis has always shot firearms and always hunted. So her mother seems to be an idiot. (sighs) Let's continue. The mother pointed to where the AK-47 along with a 12-gauge shotgun was located in the room, along with multiple magazines to the AK-47 and rounds of ammunition. Police later said Wilson purchased the AK-47 on on AK-47 on Wednesday, September 11th from a gun store and bought five extra magazines and 160 rounds of ammunition. 
num and the next fact this is Wilson is wearing an anarchist cook book t-shirt in her booking folder i was wondering what it was saying i could tell the word anarchist was on there but i couldn't tell what the word underneath it was it says the anarchist cookbook written by william powell in the early 1970s a tome he has since disavowed contains instructions on how to make bombs and other explosives chapters include detailed instructions on hand-to-hand -hand combat sabotage and demolition surveillance improvised weapons bombs booby traps and myriad of other anarchy topics well that was a clear sign right there she was wearing her she was wearing her uniform that day and the last one says some are questioning the sale of a semi-automatic gun to a teen girl with extra ammunition some are saying she's trouble and needs help others praise witnesses and police for averting a possible tragedy here they go again saying that she's troubled and need help the bitch is not troubled she needs jail time. But you know they're going to handle her, try to handle her with kid gloves, especially because not only does she have the complexion for protection, but she's also the right gender. She's a young, uh, a young palm colored woman. She's 18. I don't want to consider her to be a girl at this point. She's a, she's an adult. But that's pretty, um, let's see, uh, let me read some of these comments. Someone said one person's comment had a number of reactions. Another lost child. She dropped out in ninth grade, which was around 14 to 15 years old. She was struggling before that time. I'm sure we need to do a better job of helping those who cannot find a way. I'm not reading anything else after that because now they're just trying to show sympathy for this chick. No. And even if she was able to um, go forward with what she did, they would have still found a way to find sympathy for her. Even after she said, I plan to go shoot up my former school, 400 people. Now, let's get this straight right here. I highly doubt. Okay. She went to school. She went to school there for one year, her freshman year. She dropped out. All the people that were ahead of her would have already been graduated by now. I highly doubt that the class that she was in, her freshman class, had 400 people in it. The people that she was there with have probably are getting ready to graduate. So that means there's nobody behind her. So who the hell was she targeting? Is the question. Or who is she going back to target? Unless this was the same year that she was supposed to go into. And those people who were there then are still there now. Something tells me she was targeting students. And of course probably some faculty members. Because 400 people. That's a lot of people to go after in a high school damn that's damn near the entire school when you think about it it's not like she was going out of college campus but this chick don't need no help or no rehabilitation because that's just basically a get out of jail free card they need to lock her ass the fuck up will they is the question y'all let me know what you think about this down in the comments and i'll talk to you in the next one